Son, the glory Holy Ghost. Eh? Take glory. Ah. Eh? You can never, never fail. You shall never, never fail. Jesus, Jesus forever. Eh? You can never, never. He has not failed. And he will never fail. Huh? Jesus, Jesus. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, we just want to thank you. Our Father who art in heaven. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Give him worship. Our Father. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Hello, Bida. Hello, hello, your name, Baba. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you and your family. Amen. And uh, welcome to Shekinah Sunday Happy Hour. You will be happier and you will be joyful in the name of Jesus. Amen. Eh? Amen. 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 What is joy? Joy means a strong hmm, inner sense of gladness that is not based on any circumstances, but on the love, on the grace, on the blessings, hmm, and on the promises of God for you and your family. Say, the promises of God will come to pass in my life. God is, a, is the covenant-keeping God. You know, he keeps his covenant with us. It is us. We, we, we don't keep our covenants. We don't keep our promises. And that is why we don't achieve whatever we want to achieve. Number one, sometimes we don't know God. Sometimes we know God, but we doubt him. Don't be a doubting Thomas. So, because God is real. Jehovah is real. And he's willing to give you that joy. He wants to enable you to be joyful. Do you know him? Do you doubt him? Don't doubt him. Because the Bible says, uh, doubting Thomas will not get anything from God. The mind that doubts. The mind that does not believe. The mind that does not have faith in God. We not receive any, any good thing from God though. So if you don't have faith in God, forget it. So please, my brothers and sisters, joy is, your joy is inevitable. You must be joyful. And joy does not, joy is not like happiness. You know, happiness, you know, is based on uh, uh, happenings, things that happen. No, you don't wait until something to happen, something good or something bad to happen to you. Be expectant. Expect great things to happen to, to happen to you. So uh, happiness, you know, has to do with your feelings. No, the joy of the Lord is very important, much more important than happiness. But God can give you both. If I were you, I would prefer the joy. That's why the book of Zechariah says the joy of the Lord is our portion. Say, I shall be joyful. This, uh, th this, this month of October, we deliver blessings unto me. We, we prosper me in all areas of my life. So my brothers and sisters, Jesus promises that he will give you, if you give you joy. And your joy emanates through Jesus. Okay? So remember, remember the love of God. Because he says he loves you and he will give you joy. So why worry when you can worship? Why worry why you can pray to him? Why worry why you can praise him? Why worry when you can dance for him and to him? To remind him of his promises. He never forgets to. He is faithful to the call. He's not like you and I. Amen? So... As you go in the course of this, <laughs> this week, remember, this is winter. Hmm. When darkness, you know, pieces the day and your heart becomes troubled. No, 
Say no. Remember, remember God. And remember that he loves you so much. And he's closer to you than you imagine. Amen. Amen. So remember his grace and mercy over you. Okay. Remember that he is kind. He is loving. Remember that he is your refuge. Remember that he is your strength. Amen. Amen. So fill yourself with the promises of God. Even during this time of winter. It can be cold though, and it can be extremely cold. But guess what? Bundle up, dress warm, and be joyful. Amen? So let joy fill your heart. Amen? Let the, the, the kind of joy that will anchor your heart will be that of Christ. Amen? And it will keep you secure even through the days of darkness. Amen? Amen? And the Lord will be with you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will cause his face to shine upon you. He says he will prosper you. My brothers and sisters, why worry when you can pray? Why worry when you can worship? Turn your worry to worship. And your pain will turn to gain in Jesus' name. Pastor Dr. Adenike Akuredi Olawi, Shekinah International Ministries. God bless you. See you next week. Bye. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For adventure, you want to agree with us for prayers, for counseling, or, or you want to be part of our programs, please call this number 708-964-7983. We have a marriage conference coming up uh, October 28th, the last Saturday, 10 a.m. Chicago time. And we have a Thanksgiving dinner, November the 17th. Be part of the move of God. And God bless you. Amen. Bye. Love you.